What's up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. This time we're having a battle against Argon. And sorry if I have to be a little quiet. It's really late and I have family over and stuff. So, and I'm a little sick at the moment too. So, um, yeah. <laughs> but today is a very special day for me because today is actually my five year anniversary on YouTube. I could not be more excited. Thank you all, every single one of you, especially those of you that have been with me all five years. You guys have no idea how much it means to me, your love and support over the years. And uh, I guess here's to another five years. So um, I know I haven't been uploading regularly and stuff, and I apologize for that. I just got stuff going on. But anyway, we're having an in tier match against Argon from my Discord server. If you guys would like to battle me, hit me up on Twitter, Discord, or Facebook. Links, as always, are in the description below. Looking at his team, he's got the Sock, which is a major threat for my team. Um, he has the Slowking, he has a Hitmontop, Meloetta, which could be interesting because it has the ability to change forms. He has the Alolan Raichu, which is also a major threat for me. And then he also has a Steelix. So looking at my team, we got the Vikavolt, got my man Rump Roast, the Embor, <laughs> and uh, we've got a Steelix of my own. We have Slow Bro, so we got both the, uh, the Slow Brothers here on either side of the field. Then we've got my man Sneasel, Spanky, <laughs> and then we've got a Zatu. So I actually borrowed this team from Pokeaim, and um, yeah, it's a pretty solid team. And uh, this was a very good battle, very haxy battle, actually. This is definitely one of my more haxy battles that I've ever had, but I hope you guys will enjoy the show anyway. So the battle begins, I'm going to lead off with my Vigavolt, as my opponent is going to lead off with his Sock. So this thing is definitely a threat, and uh, I just decided I'm going to try to Volt Switch out of here, because I don't really have anything... Well, I guess probably Thunderbolt would hurt, because I'm Specs, but it wouldn't kill, so he's actually going to make a great prediction. Actually, the start of this battle was kind of funny. He was like predicting me like literally every turn, it was disgusting, so... Um, he brings in his Steelix, obviously he's immune to the Volt Switch, so I'm gonna get out of here, I'm gonna go bring out my Zatu, not today. Um, I was actually kind of thinking maybe he would set up some rocks or something and I could bounce him back. But he predicts that well and goes into his Alolan Raichu, so he's actually gonna swap predicting my swap and he brings back out the Sock, as I do in fact swap here. So he's uh, gonna break the mold there with some Mold Breaker action. I'm gonna get out of here, I'm gonna bring out Boulder Boner. <laughs> so my opponent is literally predicting everything I do. So this battle was pretty wild, but I'm gonna obviously have to get the hell out of here again, and I'm gonna bring out my boy Rump Roast here on the uh, the knockoff. So that kind of sucks, because that's gonna get rid of my Choice Scarf. And uh, without that, <laughs> Embor is a lot less effective. Embor's pissed off, because he was rocking the nice Scarf, and this guy told him to knock it off. So he's gonna actually swap here, bring out the Hitmontop, he's gonna get the Intimidate, and that is obviously going to lower my attack. So Embor is not looking too hot here. He lost his sweet ass scarf and now he's lost one stage of attack. So <laughs> um, I'm just going to go for the Flare Blitz here. And uh, it actually still does solid damage and I luck out and I get the burn. So this is only the beginning guys. This battle was super, super haxy. <laughs> but um, my man Carlton out there on the other side of the field dancing away. Um, I'm going to actually just stay in here because I really... I don't know. Embor is kind of useless for me now. <laughs> um, so he's going to bring out the Slowking, and <laughs> oh my god. So literally the turn after I get the burn, I actually score a crit with this Flare Blitz, and it does so much damage. Holy crap. That was a resisted hit, but uh, we score a crit there, which is awesome. And um, obviously he's going to get out of here because I do pack the uh, the Wild Charge as he's going to bring back out the Hitmontop. He's going to lower my attack once again. And uh, so I'm sitting at minus two attack without my scarf. <laughs> Embor is just not doing much this battle. So I'm going to just go for the wild charge there. It does a decent amount. Hitmontop's not looking too hot over there at around like half health-ish. But this is good because I'm wearing down one of his walls slowly. But it is pretty good for me. So I will definitely take it. I'm actually going to conserve my Embor here as death fodder. Um, so I'm going to actually swap out here. Bring out Firefly once again. And... Uh, I just kind of want to see what he would do. He actually swaps. I thought he would just go for like close combat or something. He brings out his Meloetta. Um, and this is perfect for me <laughs> because I can just go straight for the Bug Buzz here, except he actually has the Relic Song and he's faster than me because Vikavolt's slow as balls. 
<laughs> so I actually thought he would probably switch there into the Steelix, so I went for the Energy Ball instead. Um, but he just, yeah, he just changed his forms, which uh, luckily for me, this actually hits him on the neutral side. It still hits really hard because I'm Specs, and Vega Volt has a massive special attack stat. So I'm gonna bring out my man Herbert here as he goes for the Zen Head, but this is going to do literally Buckus damage. Um, yeah, what can you say? So he's obviously gonna get the hell out of here. He does not want to lose his Meloetta just yet. Um, he's gonna bring out his Sloking here as I kind of make a dumb play here. I don't know why the hell I did this, <laughs> but I just go for the Z move, the Watery and Z, um, which turns into, I don't remember the name of it, Hydro Vortex or some, some crazy shit like that. Yeah, Hydro Vortex, so this is obviously going to do like diddly buck his damage. <laughs> He's probably Assault Vest, honestly. I think most, uh, most looking are Assault Vest. So yeah, that basically just tickles him. <laughs> um, so I'm going to get out of here. Obviously, I have nothing to do to this. <laughs> Um, had I had, like, uh, Never Ending Nightmare with, like, Shadow Ball or something, that would have been pretty cool, but... Anyway, he's gonna go for this Future Sight as I bring in my man Spanky, and, uh, this is obviously great for me because now he's trapped, I have Pursuit, so he does try to swap there, but the Pursuit is going to nail him, and one of his walls is finally gone, and we saw before that his Hitmontop actually is pretty low, so he's gonna bring out the Sock once again. God, this battle is long, man. <laughs> 35 turns anyway he's gonna bring back out the sock i'm obviously gonna have to get out of here because i don't want to take a four times super effective fighting attack so i'm gonna bring out my man rump roast here basically as death fodder so he's gonna go for the knockoff and then after that <laughs> he's going to take the future sight so my man rump roast didn't really get to do anything didn't get to shine at all which is pretty unfortunate i love shiny Embor; it looks badass and it hits like a damn truck <laughs> But unfort, he was not able to do anything. So here I bring back out Firefly. Honestly, I don't know why I did this. <laughs> so he just goes for the knockoff, and that's gonna kill my Vega Volt. So I just lost two of my Mons here to this damn Sock, man. Sock is such a damn problem for my team. Holy shit, dude. So I'm gonna bring out or bring back out Herbert. And my opponent's gonna swap back out into the Hitmon top. I honestly thought he would bring out. I don't know what I was thinking actually. I thought he would maybe bring out the uh, the Raichu or something, so I didn't want to go for Psy Shock. Um, so I just go for Scald there. Had I gone for Psy Shock, that would have killed. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, what can you do? So I'm just gonna go for a Psy Shock here to kill off the Hitmontop. He's gonna be able to outspeed me and go for the Toxic, which is unfortunate but not the end of the world and excuse me guys i'm like slouching in my chair i'm gonna like sit up and my chair is like really loud so let me mute my mic real quick all right sorry about that <laughs> so very professional so i'm actually gonna kill his uh hit on top off with a psy shock and um i'm gonna take some toxic damage here he's gonna bring out his raichu and uh this is definitely a major major problem for me so i'm gonna have to get out of here i'm gonna bring out my man boulder boner which is the steelix and uh, he's gonna try to go for the t-bolt and obviously that doesn't affect me as i tried to use an electric move on his steelix being a ground type so um he's just gonna go for the grass knot but this is actually a more specially defensive steelix so i take that grass knot like it's nothing <laughs> and uh, i just go for the eq and he surprises me here he's actually focus sashed on his Alolan Raichu, I never see that. Excuse me, most of them are usually like Life Orb or something, but apparently not this guy. <laughs> but we saw before that I can take a Grass Knot relatively easy. Um, and at this point in the battle, there's really not a hell of a lot of point in me setting up Stealth Rocks, because honestly, nothing on his team is like super weak to it, and it just wouldn't help out that much. So I just decided to kill this thing with an Earthquake. Um, and I did that on the off chance he like wanted to switch out into something like Meloetta would die to the EQ um, and Sock would take a decent amount of damage from that as well but he just stays in and uh, sacks off his Raichu he's gonna bring out the Meloetta and he surprises me here <laughs> he actually whips out the Z crystal the fighting uh, fightanium Z or whatever so he's gonna go for the all-out pummeling that is going to unfortunately kill off my Steelix <laughs> I'm guessing he had a uh, like close combat or something like that maybe focus no he, probably close combat um since he was the uh, relic song variant but yeah so that's gonna kill off boulder <laughs> boulder boner 
and um yeah he actually crits me there i really highly doubt that crit mattered at all um so i'm gonna get out of well not get out of here I, I fainted but i'm gonna bring out my man spanky here and uh yeah he really can't do anything to me anymore so i'm just gonna go for the icicle crash pray that we don't miss and we don't so that's gonna kill off the meloetta and obviously after that my opponent is going to bring out the sock <laughs> Um, I mean, I think everybody saw that coming, so I'm gonna have to get out of here again, and, uh, I think I, let's see, I think I bring in, uh, I cannot remember, I think my last three mons are Sneasel, Slowbro, and, ah, fuck, Zatu, so yeah, I bring out my, uh, my Slowbro here, my opponent chokes, um, I really think my opponent should have gone for the knockoff there, um, my opponent definitely choked there, <laughs> But um, he goes for the close combat, and obviously he's going to have to swap here. Otherwise, he is going to die 100%. <laughs> so he's going to bring out his Steelix as I go for the Psy Shock. It's obviously going to do like nothing to Steelix because it's bulky on the physical side. And being a Steel type, it actually resists that. <clears throat> but I do actually pack the Scald on my Slowbro, so I can obviously deal with this Steelix anytime I want. Um, I think I'm actually deciding here that... Um, Slowbro can actually take a knockoff, I believe. <laughs> so I'm actually going to swap here and get the Regenerator, get some HP back, bring out Natu Day. Um, you know, just on the off chance he wanted to set up, like, really late game rocks. <laughs> but he goes for the EQ there. Obviously, it's I'm immune to that being a flying type. I do pack the Grass Knot. It's going to do okay damage um, as he's going to go for the Heavy Slam here. I'm actually physically defensive Zatu. So that's not going to do that much. And he's also going to get hit by my Rocky Helmet. And I just figured here, um, I thought that possibly he would switch into his sock. So I went for Psychic there. Um, but obviously he just stayed in, which is fine. Um, I don't know, I just thought there was a chance. But anyway, he's just going to go He's just gonna go for another Heavy Slam here. He's going to take another round of my Rocky Helmet. And uh, I think here I just start going for Roost, because I really have no reason not to. Um <clears throat> Excuse me, my, my voice is like shot, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going for Roost here. As he just spams yet another Heavy Slam here. And uh, I believe on this following turn, he actually makes a decent play. Um, but it's obviously too late for him. So he's almost dead to the Rocky Helmet. Um, and I go for Roost here, and he actually goes for the EQ. Now, because I Roosted, that means I'm on the ground. And the EQ actually hits me. It doesn't do much damage, but he's not going to take the Rocky Helmet damage. So... It's actually a pretty solid play on his part, but honestly, it's just too late for him. <laughs> um, the damage is done practically, so yeah, so there goes the Earthquake. It's going to do like pretty laughable damage, but it was a solid play on his part. I understand why he did it. <laughs> Definitely a solid play. So he's going to get some lefties back, and uh, I'm just going to kill him off here with the, uh, the Grass Knot. So his last mon is obviously the Sock, and... Uh, <laughs> Basically, I know he's scarfed, so he has to lock himself into either like close combat or knockoff. And obviously, the smartest play is for him to lock himself into knockoff. So that is exactly what he's going to do here. He's going to knock off, and that is going to kill off my Zatu. But that is fine. I still have my Sneasel in the back, which is totally well. Sneasel resists the knockoff, so I know Sneasel is like frail as shit. But because of the resistance, I'm actually able to live it. And. Uh, stuff so bring that ah, god i can't talk bring back out my boy spanky here go for the icicle crash we fucking miss and he goes for a knockoff so right here i was really scared <laughs> um so he's gonna knock off my choice band here and uh, i go for the icicle crash once again and uh because i'm no longer choice banded it is not gonna kill him <sighs> but uh, i actually snagged the flinch there guys so this battle was super super haxy in my favor um he honestly he had a pretty good chance of winning had i not haxed him to death so i really think the hacks probably mattered but i'm just gonna kill him off with another icicle crash and that is game good game argon i think he said he's also going to post his side of the battle so if i remember i will leave a link to his channel as well in the description below but i'm gonna get out of here guys here's to another five years i love you guys peace out